Hey, this is Mike Sanders from Sewing Products Equipment Company. As you can imagine with the current pandemic that's happening, we have spent hours and hours on the phone over the past, I, I guess, several weeks now, uh, trying to explain to people and help them to get their mask production going. Uh, and one of the most efficient and best ways that you can really get started doing that is to making the strapping. Uh, and, and of course, you're having to make a ton of that, those because there's two pieces of strapping typically, depending on what kind of mask you're making, uh, for every mask or face shield that you actually make or, or whatever PPE that it is that you're making. So this is an example of one of the setups that we really, really recommend. This is the Qtex TBC50. Uh, it's in a great economy style model machine. It's very fast, very efficient. It will cycle through thousands of pieces uh, per hour. We also recommend using uh, this as the TFD-92S. It's a really, really simple pre-feed machine. Basically, whenever you're doing this, a lot of the times you're working with elastic. And as you know, elastic is very stretchy. So if you just run it through a machine like this and it's pulling the material and it's pulling against its weight uh, of the roll, what it's gonna happen is you're always gonna cut short because it's gonna measure the stretch and then when it cuts, it snaps back. So having something like this is great. Uh, I'll just show you how this works really quickly. Basically, you wanna have a loop right here the entire time to make sure that there's no stretch on the material, no tension. So as soon as this pulls tight, it just makes the material feed out. Um, we also have a hot cutting version of this machine as well. If for, you, for any reason your strapping is like a webbing or, or something like that that's gonna fray when you cut it, it's really, really great to use the hot cutter. We carry that as well. That's typically the, the TVC uh, 50H. We also carry the Sheffield models as well. Um, that one is the HC530. That machine will actually do hot and cold cutting and their version of the pre-feed device is the PF-33. In relation to the elastic, what I've got here on the cutter is a little bit thicker than what you normally see. This is just a mask that one of our customers is making. As you can see, it's a lot thinner. Uh, sometimes whenever you're using thin elastic like that, the material does want to kind of get squirrely and run around. We do carry uh, grooved or slotted rollers. Uh, this does a couple of different things for you. First of all, it keeps the material straight as you're feeding, which is crucial. Second of all, it actually allows you to run uh, multiple rolls of material through here at the same time. So right now on the machine, I've only got one roll set up. With that being said, this material is only, I believe, three quarters of an inch wide. The blade itself is four inches wide, so as you can imagine, you can put multiple rolls on there and cut all at the same time so that you're, you're cutting exponentially.